What's going on, on YouTube? Matthew with Medicated Vision Tricks, that's MVT for y'all that don't know, bringing you another video today. So, right now, just doing a little bit of jamming on some Nikki T, Mondra Nicotina for y'all that don't know. You know, you know. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. Doing a little vaping. Got my uh, El Diablo sitting on the keyboard mod. This motherfucker's tight, fool. This motherfucker's tight. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. love this fucking setup, man. Love it. So anyway, I'm gonna set this to the side. Today, okay, today, this is like take three because my videos keep fucking up. But today is going to be my first build video. Okay, it's gonna be informal, it's not gonna be great, but you know what? This isn't a really formal channel. I don't got but 41 subscribers, so I don't give a fuck. But um, if any of y'all watching, vaping, wanna fucking follow along, see how I get shit done, it's a simple build that I'm gonna put together, so it's not anything you haven't done before, probably. But um, anyway, follow along, I hope you enjoy. So, gonna keep this banging in the background and I'm gonna dive right into it so what I'm building today like I said is a stage Clapton build or a para Clapton some people call it it's basically a Clapton uh, it's a staged heating build a staged Clapton build and what staged heating is uh, to get an idea of what you're building before you actually build it staged heating basically means you have a parallel build meaning you have not one wire wrapped around your bit but two wires um, or more but for, for our purposes just two most parallels are two and um, you know they're wrapped in parallel so they kind of, when they're done with the coil it alternates one coil the other wire one wire the other wire one wire the other wire so yeah it, it's pretty cool and they're nice it's nice to do parallels of the same gauge wire and there, there's a lot of possibilities with parallel building with coils but the the point of staged heating parallels is to kind of have your is it's to have your vape heat up in stages hence the name staged heating so basically a staged heating build like the one I'm going to show you is going to be a larger usually more complex type build like a vertebrate or a clapton or some variation of clapton um, or just a, a very large uh, gauge wire, and then it's going to be paralleled with a smaller gauge, smaller diameter wire, and then when you wrap those in parallel, when you run your voltage to it, uh, the, the thinner of the two wires is going to, uh, it's going to, to heat up first, obviously it takes less voltage to get that wire going, so it's gonna heat that's gonna heat up first it's gonna have a really cool looking effect when you dry when you dry fire it and it's also gonna kind of uh, give you an interesting vape it's gonna kind of kick start the uh, the larger gauge build it's it, it has some interesting properties and I really 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 enjoy my stage build so I thought I would build one on camera for you so enough talking let's get down to it so like I said this is take three or four of this fucking video um, you have reached the hang on, <laughs> sorry my mom just poked her head in, so, anyway, this is like take three or four of this fucking video, my camera keeps messing up, but anyway, so, like I said, this is gonna be my first build on camera, so I hope you guys enjoy, so anyway, let me get one more two, let's get started. <laughs> Man, that's good. By the way, I got DIY juice for sale. Uh, private message me if you're interested. It is off the chain, man, and uh, good prices, good prices. So, anyway, not, try not trying to put an ad out there. Let's do this. So, supplies. Number one, obviously, going to need a drill. Then number two, you're going to need at least two gauges of wire. Uh, and I say at least because I'm, for me, for this exact build, I'm going to use two gauges of wire. But you can do a lot of variations of this build. Variations meaning varying the gauges of wire used. Uh, but it's basic, it's, it's all going to be the same. It's all going to be the same uh, concept. But it's just, you know, you can use different gauges of wire. Whatever suits your need. So anyway, I'm going to dive right into it. So you have the drill. 
you have, uh, for me, this is already seated in the drill. It's already been straightened. This is 26 gauge. I have about six to eight inches of 26 gauge wire. And then I have the outer wire, which is going to be my 32 gauge Nichrome 80. They're both Nichrome 80, okay? They're both from KB Vapor as well. So, um, as well as having the 26 gauge, this, I would, this is going in, like I said, I think I said, uh, this is going in the Aeronaut RDA, which really lends itself best to single coils. Uh, I have a really nice flat wire bolt in there right now, it's kind of hard to see, but I thought I would change it up and uh, just give me some extra motivation to make this video. So I'm only going to be making a single coil. So obviously double what I'm doing if you want to make a dual coil. Um, and this does work awesome as a dual coil too. So anyway, 26 gauge, 32 gauge, a drill. Um, and obviously a screwdriver to wrap your bit on. I'm using a 2.4 millimeter screwdriver and some flush cutters, clippers, whatever you got on hand. And that's pretty much it. And a pair of pliers. So let's get started. So I've already straightened the wire. I'm assuming if you're watching a video on stage Clapton's, you know how to straighten wire by now. Not going to get into it. So uh, I also have it seated and centered as best I can in the center of the drill chuck so that when I spin it, it's not, it's not, whoa, whoa, you know what I mean? Rotating. It's, it's giving a nice clean. You see how the end of it is just barely moving at all? Uh, if it's cockeyed or something, the end of it will whoa, 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 and kind of the centrifugal force will really fuck it up. I've had that happen quite a bit, and it's not fun. So anyway, take that. Um, I also have my 32 gauge wire already pre-cut. This is my 32 gauge. I have about an arm's length, like a like a not fully stretched arm's length. I don't know what to call this. Maybe three three feet or so for the for the six inches. Um, we'll see how this is sounds about right. So anyway, I'm going to, you know what? I'm gonna tilt the camera angle now and. You're going to see the drill chuck. So, that's the drill chuck. I'm going to take this 32 gauge. I like to put a, sm a slight bend in it. Um, and I like to insert it into the chuck of the drill right next to the 26 gauge. So it is in there. And then, uh, I am more comfortable wrapping my coils with the drill turning counterclockwise. Um, so I have it set to that. And then I very... Oops. Oop, let me fix the camera angle, sorry. I very slowly... Oop, wrong way. I slowly spin it and just get it started. And that kind of anchors it to it. So after that, uh, clapping wire is very easy. You just kind of keep a nice firm pressure on, on, the, uh, on the wrap wire. Keep your thumb close to the to the to the core wire and let's go. Nice and easy. Just let it wrap itself. Fuck my camera's going, I see it happening. wire we have so let me turn this back up face me that sorry that it kind of was slipping I'm literally using my phone I'm using my grinder to hold it in place and behind it is my weed jar to hold it in place that's how good on my setup is right now but you know what we have some beautiful clapping wire I'm about to throw the macro lens on and show y'all so where the fuck is my macro lens I know it's around here somewhere. I'm gonna be mad if I can't find it. When you went to the hand lock, six in the morning, and you didn't hear the feds knock. You know what? I cannot find my fucking macro lens right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I am going to snip this wire 
Okay, so I've snipped that. Um, you can kind of tell where the Clapton ends and the wire keeps going. I'm gonna snip right there. Whoa, I just, wow, I just fucked shit up. Drop the drill. Ugh. God, this video is turning out a fucking disaster. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, fuck. This, I just have the worst equipment set up. Fuck. Anyway, so, and I can't find my fucking macro lens. Uh, I'm getting really frustrated right now, but uh, this is the farthest I've gotten in any of my video takes, and I can't go back now. So, I'm going, anyway, sorry, sorry. So, I'm going to snip where the uh, wrap wire ended, and it's just bare 26 gauge. Snip that, and now we have a nice length of uh, Clapton wire. It is all extremely tightly Clapton, it's all nice and even. If it were not, it's pretty easy to just kind of push it together, push, if you, where you see gaps, just kind of push it, push it, push it, push it in. It helps to start from the end. You might have a little bit of wire exposed at the end, but just clip that off. But anyway, we have a really nice length of perfectly clapped in wire. So, we're going to take the screwdriver. Like I said, this is a two and a half millimeter bit. So, from here, we're going to wrap this clapped in. And do not worry if it is not perfectly, perfectly tightly wrapped because there is going to be that second uh, staging wire, as I call it, in between it. So, I think I'm going to shoot for seven, let's go for seven wraps. So with clapping wires, you want to be careful because if you uh, pull on them to stretch it, it will stretch the Clapton wraps out, and you don't want that. So I always wrap it very right as close as I can get my fingers to the screwdriver. Uh, so I'm going to start with one, two. Another way to do it is to actually hold it in place and roll the screwdriver like that. Uh, I believe that's how M-Turk does it. And I've tried it, but I prefer this way better. Four, five, six, and seven. So I have a nice seven wraps. I'm going to take my pliers and get the extra lead wrap off and unwind it so it's all nice and even. Push it together a little bit. I'm going to double check the counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, perfect. So we have a really, really nicely wrapped seven wrap Clapton. And I really fucking wish I had my macro lens because that would make things much easier. But I don't. And it's around here somewhere, but of course when I want to make a video, I don't have the shit. So, whatever. Let me get a vape. I'm getting pissed. <laughs> Dude, this El Diablo tank puts the fuck out. Okay, so after we wrap our Clapton, <clears throat> you'll notice that I did not wrap, if you've wrapped uh, parallels before, you might be saying to yourself, hey, when I wrap parallels, I would take both wires and wrap them at the same time. Yes, I do that if I'm using the, bolt, the same gauge wire for both wraps. But things like this, when I'm staging, this I learned, I believe, from Squid Dude, a Squid Dude video. Could be wrong. It, it's one of the OGs on YouTube, but I believe it was Squid Dude. Um, and this trick is simple and easy and has fucking saved me a lot of headache and heartache. It makes your, your parallel super clean. It makes them super tight. So I, I just used my pliers, pulled out a small length of 26 gauge, just enough to make the single coil. Don't even have to buy, oh, god damn it. I'm, really getting tired of this camera setup, <laughs> but um, don't even have to straighten that, just have this length of 26 gauge, you take your coil, I always start, I line <clears throat> the end of the coil up, I try to, I try to, uh, you know, match it with the lead, the length of the lead, or maybe a little longer, I can always snip it, and then I put it on the left, so if you were looking for my direction, it would be the left side, and then I would be wrapping this way, 
but I'm going to wrap in between the grooves. You just have to pull down a little bit tightly, pull down in between the grooves, and it just kind of forces itself down in there nice and snug, perfectly fit. Two, three, you don't even really have to look or try, it just guides itself. Four, and there we go. We have a beautifully staged Clapton build. Now, fix the legs a little bit, push it together, and you have what I would call perfection. I really wish you could see better. Let's see if I can get a better... Oops. Let's see if I can get a better look this way. No, of course not. Ah, here we go. Yes, so that is the stage Clapton. It is rather nice and sexy. <clears throat> and we are going to install it in the Aeronaut RDA. So anyways, I am not going to show installing it because my video time is up, but I will install it and I will show you the stage heating properties I mentioned before. So anyway, thank you for sitting through this video. I know it was kind of a headache. I can't believe I actually made it through it. But anyway, thank you guys. Please like if you if this helped you at all. Just comment, fucking yell at me, do whatever you want. I just I just need some activity on my channel. So peace, vape on, I'll give you a clap for the road. Fucking chuck for days, man. Peace.